I was like, report to the principal's office. No, <laughs> just kidding. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, thanks. Hello, Ms. Huckleberry. Hey. How you doing? <laughs> good. Doing good. good? Yeah, good. You? Good, good. Yeah, ready to see your awesome campus. Awesome. Come yeah. on in. All right. Oh, hello. Hi. Oh, wow. Hi, friends. Yeah, we're here to Hi. visit. Oh. I know it's lunchtime, but here's our Ooh, what are you school eating? board members. And All right, so the I, I use the term EC. It's an early childhood department, and that encompasses it's ELE and then pre-K. But then it's also part of kinder as well. So when I talk about that this is our early childhood department classrooms, this is where we have our ELE, our pre-K, and then our kinder as well. We keep them all along this hallway. We have all the teachers here. It's great for collaborative meetings such as PLCs, and everybody can work within each other. If you look at the different pods, they're also grouped by pre-K and ELE throughout this entire hallway. So. When we were able to grow the EC department, early childhood, we were very intentional in making sure that we had all the classrooms together here in this hallway. Yeah, so everything's going good so far. So, so this is our first year with pre-K threes and we have enough, uh, enough of the students to have just a pre-K three only. It's amazing, the first day of school you can imagine lots of tears and lots of little babies just really anxious to come to school, but after the first few weeks, they really settle into a routine. There's a lot of play centers that are going on. The teachers are amazing. Kids are engaging. And what I like about this too is our kinder teachers are seeing the great things that they're doing here. So we're also collaborating with the EC department to support our kinder teachers and continue the great things that we're doing here. Love it. Just because kids hit five doesn't mean they're not part of the EC department. Sure. Right? So we're going to continue the partnerships that we have here down that hallway too. So Love it. This Love is it. exciting. Are y'all happy to be back in person at Cox this year? Yes. To do fun science experiments like this? Yeah. For the whole um, nine weeks, they've been working on the physical properties of matter. And so using all their knowledge from the beginning of school, through all the lessons, um, they are testing a mystery mixture. Is this water? Yes, this is water. And then you have vinegar? Ooh, iodine, okay, okay. After they look at them as a powder, then look, them, look at them as a solution, um, they have to figure out what the mystery mixture is made of. It's made of, of two or three different powders. Okay. And they will be able to tell um, what the mystery mixture is by the what they've written down in their notes. Got it. Science rules! <sighs> All right, are y'all ready? Bucket of bones. Woohoo! Tell me what you think about um, having, having this music literacy being able to be taught at the elementary level. Oh, I think it's super important. Not only is it building a foundation for our middle school and high school kids who are going to be playing instruments or singing and choir, it's like learning another language. Absolutely. It's, it's speaking math and music and it's just it's good for your brain. It's right. good for your soul and your brain.